I don't like a cold wet. Yeah, cold no. wet. I, I'd rather have freezing snow. Wow. Yeah. Twenty degree snow than than fifty yeah, degree dry, rain easily. Dry cold. Yeah. Or wet hot. But that's what we're entering into. That is the worst part of climate change. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna, yeah, you can nestle yeah, up. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> yeah, make some cozy. cocoa. Yeah, I can use cocoa. This is good, dude. Yeah, yeah, I forgot to ask you whether you wanted that water hot or cold. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I, also, I also forgot to ask you if, how your grandkids are doing. <laughs> 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 Fucking nano from up over here. <laughs> nice, dude. It is nice. Though. It what? is a nice change, you know. I yeah. sweat for five months straight. Yeah. I got fucking beads rolling down my forehead. So this is, I'll take this. And this was a good entry into fall because it was just like four or five just rainy kind of. Yeah, just a hurricane that a lot of people lost their lives down south, but nobody got affected up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah. got to kill some down there, man. We got to even it out. You yeah. Know? Yo, is that is that Louis C.K.? That is, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. I couldn't tell if it was him or uh, the guy that said Hi Ho Silver in... Uh... <laughs> Uh, Rudolph Bonanza. The oh, you know what I'm talking about? John Long <laughs> Silver's or wait, whatever. Wait, wait. Did they say Hi Ho Silver? Oh, is this the claymation one? Yes. Yeah. I know exactly what, what is there a live about. action Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? I no, there has to be. It's, yeah. I think it's clear. It's claymation. And yeah, the you, there has like, to be a live action one. <laughs> there has to be. Yeah. Somebody had to cash yeah, in yeah, on yeah, that gold mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's too much money to be made. Yeah, Someone dude. taped a fucking red light to a deer, dude. <laughs> yeah. So there's a deer that lost. Someone shot a deer's nose off and they replaced it with a light bulb for dude, sure. I'm going to be warm in no time, man. And yeah, you're, you're going to sweat. You'll figure, figure it out, yeah. dude. This you is drove cool. here. I did, yeah. From where? Uh, Cafe Grumpy. <laughs> It'll like in New York. Yeah, in uh, Greenpoint. Why don't you just take a train? Uh, Greenpoint's a nightmare to get here. That's over yeah. now. You got to go in and then you yeah, got to go gotta out. You got to take the fucking you? the G, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, yeah, on the train. Yeah, I don't do. Once the pandemic you know hit, no, I, I was like, I'm going to fucking uh Oh, dude, be a riding the guy. train during the pandemic was glorious. I could have been... Driving during the pandemic was glorious. Everyone was gone. All the Connecticut yeah. people left. And yeah. they, they went on their boats and they didn't die. Dude. And yeah. now they're here. I was going to the soul of death. I was going to Times Square to do my podcast every every Wednesday. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, I went no a couple times with I was you. doing. I was fucking working on my, my dance moves and shit, trying to, <laughs> to emulate those in. kids, to, to mimic the kids, like doing the flip off the bar. Yeah, I had you, the whole fucking train. You took over Showtime. Glorious, yeah. I took the, head, the headphones out, played played my music on my laptop. On my, 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 my laptop. <laughs> I was DJing my own dance. <laughs> I had a desktop <laughs> computer in there. I had my bed in there, bro. I just lived on the train, yeah. If I was just like this and like another comic yeah, walked in like, oh shit, <laughs> what's up, guy? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> just bugging the fuck out, dude. Don't say anything to anyone, please. <laughs> oh, that's what reminds me of uh, Lenny in uh, The Simpsons, where he goes into a foreclosed house and Lenny's just there in his underwear, like, please don't tell anyone how I live. <laughs> the best line yeah. it would be sick to to have spent just some quality time on the train over the pandemic just, yeah, it just was fun it, find the right train with nobody on it just ride it back and forth rig it up put some Christmas lights in there mm-hmm. oh you design know. your own train yeah yeah that's pretty cool and just yeah have you ever uh, been stuck on the train on like psychedelics <laughs> no dude I, I I don't I think only Molly coming back from uh, like a 4th of July party. I was on yeah. acid. That's very the, easy. The first time I ever took acid, I got I like took the train. I didn't think about it. But like the oh just the sounds, God. like the shrilling of like the... So you took acid and didn't think about what's the worst place I could be locked in. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then it was like the train didn't was stuck. And then we had to take a shuttle bus. And then like by the time we finally got to my cousin's place, she's like, oh, by the way, my snake's loose. And I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> of course it is. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, did you... Did you really just say that? Yeah, or am yeah, I yeah, imagining? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I spilled my spider cat. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's like a safe word when you're fucking a stranger. It's like, like snakes loose. Snakes loose. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll stop choking the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that would be that's literally like watching like Koi Anascotzi or one of those movies. Have you ever seen those? Oh fuck, I know that song. I used to uh, listen to that song all the time. There's a song Koi Fi- Anascotzi? Yes, yeah, the theme song. It's uh, Philip Glass. Yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you ever seen that? No. It's just like a documentary of just like things around the world like sped up. 
So it's like a mountain valley and just clouds like ripping into it and ripping yeah. out. And then like people in Japan getting on and off the subway. Yeah, yeah. except you know it's like Valentine's music? Day. There's like yeah. a pregnant lady with a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> That's really all. Yeah, yeah. It's just someone made a movie to make you feel sad. That's how I imagine being on the subway in acid on acid is like yeah. just there's too many lives to deal with. At first it was funny. And then I was just like. It was just the sounds of the fucking, and you were starting to be aware of like, this is rickety as fuck. Yes. It was built. It's been raining for years. Yeah. All these people, everyone's poor. No one's happy. Dude. And yeah, just like really sunk in there. And by the time the snake was loose, it, it of course it was. One out know. of five train <laughs> rides, I think about the speed with which the train is going. Like if I catch an express train by chance. Yeah. And I'm like, this, this conductor. It's fucking pedal to the metal right now. It's got nothing to lose. He's high we're going as fuck. way too fast. And he's high. To take a turn. Got to yes. be high. Yeah. I mean, what goes through my head? I'm like, we're going to barrel through the, the foundation in between the three tracks. So you need to get an express train in the middle. He smashes through one of these on a turn. I would be more night night. scared Dead. of yeah. a train conductor who is sober, you know? Like, yeah, if, yeah. You're, if you're willing yeah. to sit in there and be like, yeah, no, this is, I'm content. I'm like, where are the bodies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's, you're just looking down a dark tube forever for the whole Which, day. Which, I mean, aren't we all? Uh, yeah. no. No. <laughs> the snakes are loose. <laughs> yeah. It's occurred oh. to me that this has started, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. They're pretty sneaky. Yeah. We are well, sneaky. We don't, yeah, we don't. We don't know how to start a podcast. Yeah, there's no like, hey, doing an intro. Five yeah, we tried yeah. once, maybe. No, I don't think we ever did. I think we've tried as a bit to start it. I think because anytime we've ever actually tried to do like a intro thing, it goes right into the ditch. There's like a thirty second silence yeah. Yeah. afterwards because it's so it's disgusting. Unsettling. It's yeah. disgusting. It makes you feel dirty. It's like uh, like slating for an audition where you have to say your name and your height. Uh, and who you're repped by. <laughs> yeah, that's shit without, without going, ugh. I know. And, and you have they, to like look cute to when you do it, yeah. too. Like, ah. yeah. And actors are used to doing that shit without, without shame. Oh, man. We and were doing... a sweaty comic that's hung over from, uh, you know, <laughs> drug-induced coma for 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. Tommy he doesn't Pope. know the lines. Yeah. He's completely unprepared. Yeah, he has yeah. to do an English accent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I swear, Dude, you never you feel... Exactly. <laughs> my worst bomb of all time. <laughs> Truly, when you're watching those tapes, like when you're watching and you're the one deciding if the people are going to... You feel like God, yeah. you know? I know. Because uh, yeah. it's just a bunch of people like we did one on pause where it was just a bunch of old people and we were asking them to say the n-word and that was it's just like old white ladies just being like and like they were nailing it like one lady like she leaned in so hard and just like said it it was like you got the job you know yeah. like it, it was just uh yeah. just stand up yeah but like it's, it's just crazy Martha? yeah I she's was never because she pulled a calf muscle saying it so hard i would never audition for that like imagine not getting it and now you just know people have have that tape yeah, where you're yeah. just like fucking leaning <laughs> yes, into a hard yeah, arm, yeah, yeah. just to be extorted. <laughs> you're in the on call. We'll let you know. <laughs> I just, <laughs> you're second in line, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> Margaret fucking crushed. Yeah, I there just wasn't like enough that. hate in your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I like the idea of her just in her bathroom for the previous week, <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> red saying, rum, trying it different red ways. Rum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, and being like, I'm not gonna get this. I, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said it in 20 years. I don't know how I'm going to land this role. It is the one good thing about, like, I said this, I think, before, but, like, auditioning for, <clears throat> like, say, three to five pages of, of dialogue where you have, like, a lot to go through. Mm. I would, because I'd be so embarrassed to do it in, in the house, I'd grab, like, a recorder or do it my voice memo where I'd say, like, <clears throat> the other person's lines, pause while I, like, lip read mine with yeah. no audio. And then record the pacing and then put my headphones in, walk outside and act like I'm talking to someone. And there's no fucking space. You could, you could find uh, an a alleyway in the middle of nowhere in the industrial section of Long Island City. Someone's going to jump out of the window mm -hmm. within like three seconds. You get zero yes. time to yourself yes. on the streets of New there's York. There's rats just... There's fucking something. Something's going to happen where it just interrupts your flow of like learning the dialogue. Yeah. So you just have to commit to being a lunatic like everybody else is. Mm -hmm. Just have a headphone and they're like, all right, he's on the phone. He's getting angry about a 7-Eleven worker for some fucking reason on the phone. Yeah, yeah. You could be whoever you want. It is there. genius. That's what's it's hiding in plain sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instead of here, where I'm echoing through a fucking a thin wall to yeah. a neighbor going, you know, did you get that part, pal? I yeah. remember the part. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I had people chained in my basement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, just no hey, my friends were over for the weekend. Jesus, 
Where are you from again? Uh, Rhode Island. Oof. Yeah. Where in Rhode Island? <laughs> what the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah, dude. no, it's uh, uh, Foster Gloucester is the name of the town that I'm from. But it's truly, <laughs> it's truly just the woods between Connecticut and like the suburbs. Yeah. Uh, but they named it and they combined two towns to make enough kids for a school. And like the whole thing in our town was like no school Foster Gloucester because like they couldn't pave the roads in time because everybody lived so far from everybody else. So it was just like mile long driveways to shacks that have more guns than couches you know it's just yeah. like they're Holy literally fuck. paying more money to defend the shack than yeah. what the shack is worth like well, you that's... seem like a normal dude i've never met a dude from rhode island took yet. a lot of work man yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, i parent? was raised feral like no they didn't do have you seen i just saw overboard for the first time that 80s <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, overboard. Yeah, all yeah, the dude. kids is this in, was goldie Hall? that was my dad's house yeah it was truly just like except there were like less kids so it was like somehow not as not as much camaraderie but truly just <laughs> fucking like i have 12 year old brothers they have the same sheets that i had when yeah. i was 10 right. so it's like there's just no the same mattress we're just yeah. recycling toys yeah you know the sheets are holding up i doubt it <laughs> yeah it's just like, it's just like right. half the baseball teams on them probably don't it's even just, exist anymore it's just old super just bowl t-shirts it's, just diamond just diamond <laughs> it's old bar coasters <laughs> it's really, really, the fucking basement has the bar of the local like the local bar my dad used to drink at when they closed down my dad like got the pool table because I, I guess he was there so much like the way they gave yeah. her, uh, ernest hemingway Damn. the urinal at the bar <laughs> he used to drink at <laughs> So I just grew up playing fucking pool in his basement, uh, you know, stripes and solids. And yeah. uh, I have a theory that if you're good at pool, you're depressed. I, don't, I can't prove it, but I yeah. do think. 100%. Yeah, it's either you've gotten into it late in life because you have terrible habits or you got into it early in life because you had nothing to do. It requires such a, a level of isolated time to be good at it. Yes. that It's an immediate. It's like bowling. Like yeah. I have a friend or that, cleaning a gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Time. <laughs> yeah. I'm down there like Dude. fucking full metal jacket. Yeah. My father got a we we had zero money and he finally like he knew someone that was getting rid of a a good uh pool table. Yeah. And they had to crack the marble to get it down our backyard steps. That's how the you marble know it's like good. Yeah. Six hundred dollars. Yeah. Or 600 pounds. It's like very fucking... Was it slate or marble? Slate. Slate. Oh, sorry, slate. So they snap it, and then they have to like... It's, this was his baby, dude. And this is... So it, it's not just about like how much time you have. It's like how miserable are you? You know, like he could just disappear and like work on angles with mm -hmm. a cue yes. ball and one ball. But it takes so many fucking hours yeah. to be good at pool. Right. That you, you, you have to hate your family, your life, or be depressed beyond belief. Yeah, and there was a <laughs> uh, there was a boom box down there and it only played one CD for whatever reason. Like, that's the only CD that worked. You and tried was, to put in another one, it just It just play. would not play. Like, yeah. it was just, it was like... <laughs> and you couldn't skip a track because it would just ruin everything. So we just had that one and it was a Neil Young CD and oh, I listened God, to that all the time, which I've now contend is should not be allowed no children, children should not be able to listen it's to like it. bob dylan like stop it yeah you should be you... howling into a fucking coffee cup <laughs> learning pool oh, God. To... yeah just fucking... a fucking old heroin addict telling you his secrets yeah alone. <laughs> <laughs> why you don't hit the ball low enough to bring it back out of a scratch it's like i should i gotta go outside dude yeah when the, once the eight drops you're like i guess i'll rack again yeah. i don't know you might go down there my dad be smoking winston after winston with like a windowless it, it brick exposed because the walls were destroyed from from me and my from brothers the playing oh, yeah. football down there. Mm -hmm. So it's just all exposed, moldy brick with like cobwebs, no windows. Just you see this smoke. It's actually no. I think about it, it's pretty fucking. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty nice. What dude. do you think your dad was in a Scorsese about? movie? Right now. <laughs> it was a really nice scene in a movie. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's but very a, sad for reality. Right. Yeah, that's usually the case. Yeah. What do you think he was thinking about while he was down there? Not killing his wife and kids, probably. <laughs> <laughs> How do I dispose of them correctly? Dude, in my dad's basement, there was just one box, a cardboard box on the shelf, and it just said wedding shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my uh, god, dude. Yeah, that's like uh, that's great. There's no pictures. It's just a pile of dump. He's like, that's where I shit on my big day. Oh, uh, please tell me you have a photograph of that. Oh, for sure. That yeah. should be in like the Smithsonian. Was your dad a guns guy? Um, no, he was like, uh, 
Well, actually, yeah, we had guns, but it was not, he was, he didn't even have any, like, my grandpa was more of the shotgun guy. My dad just got us, like, BB guns and shit like that. Yeah. He was a fisherman. My dad and grandpa were semi-professional catch-and-release tournament fishermen. Oh, sick. Which I think just means uh, they loved cocaine. <laughs> but <laughs> he fucking entered tournaments and shit. And uh, <laughs> I didn't realize cocaine was ripping through the Bassmasters. Dude, I don't, for whatever. <laughs> that you get me a rod, dude. dude. For whatever reason, he just loved to ice fish and do cocaine. Coke. Like that sounds so stressful to me. You're just waiting for something to happen, like fucking, oh my God. like wired up. But yeah, that was his whole. Also, vibe, the man. ice fishing thing. Are you supposed to be quiet because it can reverberate through the ice? And like... Yeah, yeah, probably. But you know, it's just fucking... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You gotta talk to someone. We all ripped but up. But think about how good it was. Oh, I caught yeah, a fish. You know, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. caught a fucking fish. Also, there's a lot of, uh, I don't know if you know this, there's a lot of, like, um, dishonesty in the catch and release tournament world. Like, you see the shit that Dude, was just going around? They put weights inside the fish. Yeah, they were putting the lead weights inside <clears throat> of the fish they were catching to make them weigh more and fucking win, like, hundreds of thousands yeah. of dollars. They were also tournament. putting other bait what? fish inside of the bigger fish. Yeah. <laughs> like, they would just stuff the And the they've been doing they this caught. for years, and they finally got caught. Like, they just cut their fish open, and, like, there were, like, eight pounds License of plates. lead in the <laughs> fish. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, it's, like, the saddest hustle. I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. Dude, everyone's getting caught for cheating. Do you see that chess guy? Got yes. caught? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Dude, you know the chess. Oh, no. The chess one is brilliant. You go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. How do you cheat? I, in chess? The story that I heard is that he had a butt plug. Uh, I thought it was a vibrating cock ring. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, well one's way. gayer than the other. So let's <laughs> yeah. figure out what this guy's about. I let's go with both. He yeah. had something on his dick or in his ass, vibrating to like let him know what moves to make. From like another dude? Yes. They would, so some guy would be watching it. Yes. In person and like, or on like, cap. You know how they have that like app yeah. that you can uh Or it's like control uh, Casino. A... How that dude got caught for the zap. The thing yes. that would knock on the knocker on right, his right. leg. Yeah. Actually, the ass makes more sense because you can't see it in yeah, my but ass. Be, well, it's I, also I, more sensitive. It, I don't know. Like, yeah, dude, it does. If you hummed on my bird for like a certain number. I'm sorry. I'd be like, if I hummed wait, on your bird. It's a fucking Johnny Just Cash stay song, with me, right? <laughs> no, it's actually Bob Dylan. If you hummed on my bird, this is my dad in the basement like you hum on my bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you if you put a vibrating you know plug in your ass. I, I would imagine the sensation going around your, your Cheerio <laughs> would be different than the callus you have when your bird from beating off for 35 right. years. Right, everyone's bird is calloused. We yeah. all know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, come on. Sure. Don't you think you're less likely to come with a cock ring than I don't know, dude. a butt plug apparently, vibrating? Apparently there's a lot of unhidden gems in there. <laughs> I'd be afraid that like I'd start coming during yeah, the chess. I don't know how you it concentrate doesn't. on chess with like a vibrating yeah. thing in your ass. Yeah. Like, man, this guy loves chess. <laughs> <laughs> they just think you're drunk because every move you're like <laughs> oh that was a really good move I love that move he's, he's I love just when you constantly being like no I got it I got <laughs> it I got it I got it he's trying to recreate that move because that was the best sensation that might fuck him up sexually for life he's like queen to rook three oh I'm gonna cheat <laughs> like he <laughs> I can't so how they catch him? Cheating. How'd they catch him? The cum was all over the table. Uh, no, I think they were suspecting it for a while, and then they just got greedy and lazy, and they put too many uh, weights in. Oh, wait, the, the ass guy. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I don't even know how they caught him. That's a good I question. I don't think he technically got caught. Like, they've just been... So there's a... Like, the the best chess player in the world, Magnus Carlsen, like, the best chess player in the world, like, lost a game to him and got up and was like, I'm not Something's playing wrong. anymore. Yeah. And... The other weird thing was that whenever they'd ask him about kind of like crazy moves that he pulled, like the guy that they suspect had the butt plug in, he would. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, I'm just feeling it out there. <laughs> <laughs> it just came to me. Yeah, no, he, he apparently would just be like, I'm just letting the chest speak for itself. Mm -hmm. Like he would be like really non-committal. Like a about, fucking impressionist painter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like people were very suspicious. What I do is art. It's up for interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me, man. Yeah, you tell me what you think <laughs> I put in the fish. <laughs> Dude, and then other things that I've, I've been reading about it now because I'm kind of infatuated and like uh, guys will catch fish like weeks ahead of a tournament, put them in a cage in a specific part of a pond and then just like pull it up when they're like alone on the water and Whoa. put it in their live well during the So they the have tournament. to go down there and hook it though. Yeah, oh. they, go, they hook it, they catch it, they put it in like a lobster trap 
and then they have like a marker. A yeah, exactly. Oh. And then they'll fucking pull it up and so it's Whoa. like all this nasty weird bullshit going on. Holy shit. So they keep do they keep the fish alive within the cage obviously? Yeah, yeah, you can't even I don't think you can I don't know what it is with other fish. They did uh my par- parents did uh catch and release with uh largemouth bass. So yeah. those you have to keep alive. But I can't imagine you can keep a fish alive for long if it has a fucking uh weight in it, you know. Well, do they stuff them after yeah. they catch them? Yeah. And so on their way into the weighing station exactly. Exactly. They just start they, jamming ball weights in there. In their ass, I think. Oh, fuck. Yeah. And it was, so finally they were like, there's no way this... And fit. then they vibrate and the fish went in their chest. <laughs> <laughs> one one flying out of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's got a chest piece in his asshole vibrating. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. Is this all visual? So they see like a, let's say a 10 inch bass. Yeah, and yeah. If you're an avid fisherman, you know a 10 inch, 10 inch bass should only weigh roughly like a from pound. this pound to yeah, that exactly, pound. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So then they put it on the hook and they're like, what the fuck? Yeah, but I think they were doing it just enough where it's like adding a pound on each fish, whatever it is to give them an edge. But then this last one, they were just like, let's just stuff its ass with like 10 fucking pounds. Yeah. They were literally like eight pounds over weight. And so it was like five fish that weighed like 33 pounds. And they're like, this just can't be the thing yeah. that's happening right so now. So they sliced one open, everything fell out. And then, dude, the fucking rage coming from these fish. Did they fish fight? Dude. Oh. I would imagine some of these guys are like, like bruises. Psychos, right? yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. They all have to yeah, be. Yeah, they're all on coke. Yeah, they're like <laughs> convicts and shit, I think. I don't know. No, I'm fucking around but I'm, <laughs> i would have, my dad used to tell me stories he's like yeah man uh my buddy john man he had one eye and uh you know he he i think he went to prison for molesting somebody but the guy could fish yeah. i mean the guy he could really throw a line yeah. there are some more important things in life <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you got to separate the art from the artist yeah. Also, yeah. yeah dude i mean like double knot in a fishing line he's good with his fingers oh you know yeah what I mean? it is fun going like a rabbit hole of youtube videos of dudes just tying different knots <laughs> oh sure they're so <laughs> sick yeah i did <laughs> see so sick. i did see a cool video of the tying a, a sailor's knot on both ends of a pant so that you can adjust uh so you just pull it out it's like a self-adjusting without tying yeah yeah so i'm into it yeah getting into knots <laughs> it's up there with pool as far as depressing <laughs> for sure lives yeah yeah i grew up so as a result of that that was mostly what i did I, I would grow up i would fish i would uh just spend most of the day on the pond there you know catching bullfrog you know if bullfrog will eat anything that's red you know that <laughs> anything, what? anything that's red a bullfrog a bullfrog a rag a fucking worm you don't need a hook or nothing you can just like it'll just eat it and, and then you just it. reel it in yeah it holds it in its mouth it won't let go what do you do with a bullfrog you you catch it legs? put it in a bucket look at it <laughs> let it go <laughs> wait you don't eat the legs is that, uh, the it's, just a, don't... it's just a day what kind of frog is frog's legs full frogs I think yeah big bullfrogs thick legs yeah, wait, yeah so they... did you go to school at all yeah I would go to school yeah yeah like when it wasn't snowing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, was that just you on, of your own volition went to school? Or do you, did your parents even give a shit that you went to school? Uh, no, that, my well, I live with my dad and stepmom. They, they would have found out if I didn't go to school. But I, so yeah, they were, it was like lax as fuck. But I, I wanted to go to school. It was like yeah. weirdly a rebellious thing. Because like I, found, I looked at what happened when you didn't go to school. And I was yeah. like, I'm going to study. And well, I imagine get, that's yeah, like the, the only time to see other people in Rhode Island. Yeah, exactly. Well, at least in Foster Gloucester. Yeah. yeah. Mostly. Foster <laughs> Gloucester. Yeah, dude. Everyone just lives on <laughs> the other really side of the woods. Is it really called that? Yeah, fucking, that's actually the name of the town. It's called Foster Gloucester? Foster Gloucester. I'm yeah. sorry to put enough time in this. I thought you were fucking around. No, <laughs> why would I fuck around? That's crazy. Yeah. No, it's an insane called foster gloucester because they wanted to bring more children into it no one town is foster but one town is gloucester but they each of them never really made it as a town so they combined the towns oh okay you know i technically they're separate towns but like foster is i mean there's like a burned down pizza place and like yeah just, six uh, people still looking yeah. for pies inside yeah it's truly i was showing him a picture from the it's just plywood exposed in the bar with a guy that says like a hat with like make logging great again just yeah, fucking dude <laughs> jesus christ yeah but it's awesome i fucking love it yeah but yeah, it's also, a nice place for a weekend i imagine oh a weekend honey stay for <laughs> try 50 dude, years a bed and breakfast and also like you know learning how to survive in the wilderness yeah i mean life skills yeah, there's a lot of how that to be was, a man. I should go there to learn how to be a man for a week. It's also such an interesting woods to be lost in. Well, it's all, yeah, because it's, it's really a small exactly. woods. Yeah, but yeah. what's weird is Rhode Island. At least it's like when, when you see deer in like a patch of woods that's like between a highway and a yeah, school. you're like, oh, yeah, how are they living in there? Get out yeah. of here. <laughs> I mean, but Rhode Island too is so <laughs> small. Just open a map, like. <laughs> 
the idea of a 20 minute drive like related to everything else it's like actually a long way to go you know what i mean like people like won't drive like 30 minutes because they're like ugh. Yeah. but it's like yeah. it's because it's to scale that would be like us driving upstate or something yeah you yeah, know what I mean? it's yeah. Like, oh, five hours yeah yeah but they're just so it's all just everyone just kind of hangs what's the hottest girl in the rhode island that you've ever seen um, like what, what, well, Taylor Swift has a house in Newport. Well, that she's not from there. We I saw know. that, and we did see it. Yeah. It's a fucking. Also, I never huge. went to Newport until after, like till there was a comedy festival there. I just knew yeah. my mom tried to get boyfriends from there. Yeah, good. She move. would go to Newport, find like an old lawyer. Yeah. One, of them, one of them was called. We called them Dusty Nuts, and uh, <laughs> and she dated him for a while, and then you know it didn't work out or whatever. Dusty but, yeah. nu- old Dusty Nuts. She was trying to secure the bag, dude. Yeah, yeah, she was trying to secure the bag. That's a smart move. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, she was single from when I was three on. So I met all these weird Newport guys. dudes. Yeah, yeah, some Newport guys. Some, you know, they wore weird shorts and sat with their legs crossed. It was just yeah. Oh, well, you know let's what I mean? Pump the brakes here. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. If Tom you were here three like weeks that. ago, this, like, I this? Short shorts. like this. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you fucking my mom. Dude, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll secure that bag, dude. We've been doing real good. I'll take your rock fishing. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I can't Catching imagine if I was thirteen. Frogs. Actually, if I if I was thirteen and you were fucking my mom and I came home and met you, I'd be like, all right, yeah, dude. You know, I'd have you tossing a pigskin in the back the backyard within fucking ten minutes. And then when you were gone, I'd be like, oh, yeah. I really thought he'd stay. <laughs> <laughs> You'd fall in love with me, and I'd fall out of love with your mom, and that would be it. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Maybe back, I'd to call back to you. the bullfrogs. Yeah, back to the bullfrogs. <laughs> back to the bullfrogs. The only time he goes bullfrog bullfrog fishing is when your his mom's not fishing herself. <laughs> Well, how, did you have any bad scenarios with like uh, boyfriends? Anything happened that was like uh, my any mom, fights? Uh, no, not really. My dad was mostly that dude. Yeah, in in the life of my mom. Yeah, he was definitely he was just like a fucking wild man. Yeah, yeah, he just like. Like I would just get dropped off and they would have words and then he'd like throw rocks at her car and Jesus. be like, you know, and yeah. I'm like, I'm here for the weekend. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> were they together for, you said three years? Or was, she, was, she was like peeling out of his driveway. And he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were, we were. <laughs> Fucking humming oh, rock too, like really? my god, he's an athlete, he's so he was he meant that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just, so funny, dude. Dude, and then she's like, I got some ideas for the weekend coming up. There's just like rocks, yeah, because she was fucking Subaru. She was always trying to go, you know, and he was pissed because he couldn't like afford to go anywhere ever. So it was he took it personally that she was going trying to enjoy her life as a single woman because uh, he immediately remarried to another lady. And like uh, had kids with her, and then yeah. like needed to. Con- he was constantly building an addition on the house as he had more kids. Like yeah. so, it was like we need a new room because there's another kid. God. So it just and he would run out of money in the middle of those things. So I just grew up on like a construction site. Essentially. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, you just just like, yeah. sold us in those locks. Just dude. yeah, like <laughs> just a giant mound of dirt that we'd play on, and yeah. it just became it. It grew weeds because it never moved, and it just yeah. became a big hill. Yeah, and it's then, fun for kids. Yeah, though. I had a black. You don't fucking know. Yeah, it's only like now that I'm like thirty. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, like you were. I was. That's how old he was when he was throwing rocks at. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I can't yeah, imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought this is how adults did adult shit. Yes, dude. Yeah, yeah I, I was dude. like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. yeah, he didn't even throw it at. This I always time. think it back on like uh, we've spoken about this a little bit, but like how aggressive my father was, and like he would come home like just some days like I had fucking enough, dude. And he was like 28 with three kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he working. Hasn't even he's working out. a full time job. Then he's got to coach us in sports. He still got bruises from his dad hitting him. Yeah, at this yeah. Point. we're not even healed yet. Yeah. <laughs> he's got to give him the us. <laughs> Yeah, so you get it. After a while, you're like, oh, shit, dude. You hit 35, you're like, whoa. How old was Steve? How old was Brian? I had fuck. Impossibly young. Yeah. With way too many kids. I mean, I truly think it's like... Uh, the idea that that was ever socially normal is like truly just keeping poor people poor. I know. Like, I don't think there's ever any other reason for it. Yeah. Like, hurry up. Oh, you're 12. Have a kid. Yeah. So you just can't do anything and yeah. we just keep all the money in Connecticut. And also then, then the poor people get so fucked up to, to get away from their own misery 
that then, then just they, they don't know what to do with their built up aggression. They're just like, I'm going to get fucked up. And then they, their wife comes home like, well, I got to come. And then they're just so drunk. They can't pull out. Then they have another kid. Ooh, it's dude, big, big cycle of aggression. Getting drunk. And, and I thought that. you were going to say they moved to Brooklyn and be cunts to people. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got that money. Dude. <laughs> they got to build an addition. I think my least favorite guy is like the micro aggressive like artist. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like someone who's like trying. Like I don't mind if you like build fucking bridges and then you come home and hit your kid it's like okay you know yeah, yeah. there's a there's some cross yes yeah you're working in the mines i get yeah. it yeah yeah so <laughs> yeah. someone's gonna catch a piece of coal once in a while <laughs> yeah. but like if you're like <laughs> acting like you like jazz and then if someone like doesn't you call this dinner you know yeah, you're just yeah. like yeah. are losing it but you're an artist like i hate that guy yeah. like a yeah. hippie who like is a is a psycho like i that whole hiding yeah. behind what you actually are i'd Imagine rather someone get bullied by a hippie as a kid like yeah. your mom dated a hippie right and, and then he's to like and he like enforce... is aggressive yeah oh, dude. oh, oh God. You're, the, you're such a bitch when you're that guy you yeah. know like i'd re even i feel the same way about racist honestly and i guarantee you black people would agree it's like if you're gonna be a racist be like a triscuits in your boots fucking yes. racist yeah. so i at least know what time it is yeah instead yeah. of like i love everyone and i'm so sorry about that you yeah, know yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. like i now i have to now i feel weird yes you know yeah and i have to do math because you're a bitch yeah <laughs> yes dude that sucks yeah yeah that's I, that's what i think most of like van life is van life van you know those like van people live people. in vans yeah yeah there's oh, people that they're are like, choosing to be homeless yeah they're choosing to be homeless yeah. and i also think that they are like they're yeah they're racist fucked up people but they like and they're violent and mean that guy like killed that chick yeah <laughs> yeah but i think they like they disappear they into this. crystals and vans yes 100 like, yeah cope with it it's a perfect yeah. place to hot you know it's, yeah. put it different, they, it's a different costume every single day what, yes. whatever their challenge is to to make way whether it's gasoline money for what a tire fix whatever's yeah. in the way they're going to assimilate to be that that, that person you know yeah. what i mean you meet some dude at the festival then you meet some fucking hillbilly to barb like yeah i hate black people too dude. <laughs> <laughs> buy me a miller light will you yeah <laughs> Wink. can you help me with my carburetor <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah whatever it is they're chameleons they're trash bags yeah that's why you gotta slash all those tires you see a fucking a small bed <laughs> You see a small bed in a van, all the tires got to right. go out. Yeah. Keep them down. I think you just yeah, gave you them a home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but somebody's going to move it. Yeah yeah, 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 right. You can't pay to get it towed. That is the most violent way to turn a house into a home. <laughs> Stab the tire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had family like that though. It's as far as like constantly building shit. Like I had, I had family that would like they were like a carpentry hobbyists, mm. but they were. Oh, that's great. Yeah, but it's, so you're living in how bad you are. At yes, something. you're you're living in someone constantly quitting on their hobby. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, because they would like they would tear out a bunch of drywall and gut like the kitchen, <laughs> right? And then quit. So yeah. it's like if I don't, <laughs> you, just, and then you just lived. Yeah, yeah, that's truly what the fuck. Yes, that's exactly right. Well, unless it's horrible. your trade and you're getting paid for that trade, you don't know how much work it's going to take to do that thing. You know? Oh, so yeah. So like, if if I looked at this one room, like, all right, we're going to fucking gut it. I'll paint it. I'll put some shelves in. You'll get a new couch. And then after you do the first thing, you're like, Jesus Christ, dude. How much did I spend already on the paint? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I got I, I gotta, I gotta sh the shelves. That was more my dad's yeah. hang up. He's capable and he can do it, but it would just be money every single time. Yeah. It yeah. was like, dude, constant money was all yeah. I ever heard about. Every yeah. time I go home to see my parents, my mother, my mother's first comments are, the bathroom's still not done. And my dad's like, son of a bitch, Gene. It, well, I, I, I'm working on the floor. Yeah. It takes time. Dude, Gina, that's at... been two years, Gene. <laughs> I know. It's dude. one toilet, one sink. There were times. That's definitely... most homes in America, yeah, I guarantee yeah. you. Oh, yeah. 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 Instead of just paying somebody to do a bathroom in five weeks. Dude, in <laughs> dude. Foster Gloucester, I was uh, at the local bar, and that guy was playing pool, and he shot it, and he, like, missed. You know how you can break and, just, and yeah, like... Yeah. And the cue went up into the fan, and he said, I swear to God, he goes, I've been telling John to get rid of that fan for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> 20 years of being like, hey, man, you should really get rid of that. <laughs> <laughs> and just having enough and then just smashing it. 
That's probably oh, why he fucking hit it the first place. Yeah, yeah. It's like fucking uh, now it's time. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I talk shit, but I, I respect. I guess I've seen my dad be consistent with all this, and so I'm just like, well, that's just who you are. And at some point, you got to accept people for who they are because they're not going to fucking change. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so then it just becomes on you to not be like one of these people that uh, takes it out on other people. You know what I mean? You got to stop the game of tag. That goes yeah. for you if you've been molested as well. What's <laughs> <laughs> the game of fact? Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? I don't know. I, I like... Uh, I, I think that would be hard to hard to leave in the past. Oh, what, what do you mean? Are you I, saying you're going to beat your kids? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, did I stutter? Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He better not. What do you mean? No, I would never. I, would ne- I don't have it in me. I think I'd be too nice to my kids. You would do your dad's thing where you just give a look. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I'll fucking rip your... Fucking my grandpa yeah. could do that. He yeah. had a look. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was just like, oh, man, this guy. Yeah. The bad motherfucker. Yes. You know? Yeah. That is the worst feeling. Oh, just a look? Just a look where you can see... Like, somehow you get visions of violence that they've, yeah. Yeah. they've put on people in the past. I don't know. I would say the like, worst feeling is getting hit. Hits big. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know, hit, Hits getting sucked. I don't know. Yeah. As an adult... Yeah. Like, if you see another stranger and they give you a look and, like, you ever question, like, oh, you know, you walk around. Oh, I, going, a, oh, I know in what you're your saying. head, you walk around going, I could f- fuck up anybody. But then. And then you see somebody, for some reason, they give you, like, a chill and a look. And then yeah. you think about, like, ah, shit, I'm not going to. Yeah, how did you. That intuit- is a bad feeling. Right. You emasculated yes. me without yes. doing anything at without all. Without doing anything. Yeah. And so well, I'm just a bitch. Issue. I'm a bitch. And you. I didn't know I was that type of bitch. Right. Like, and I showed me I can be potentially a bitch. His bitch, specifically. His bitch, if you want it. Right. It, my butthole is his at any moment. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's not even prison. Well, there is a specific look because most of the time when you think about fighting someone, you have some like sort of range of rules yeah. in your head for some reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, yeah, I, I would. That would be old school. Someone yeah, would say. yeah, but but like like fisticuffs. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like that's the Irish. If man. you knocked me out, you would stop or something like that. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. A, but there's some people that give you that look that it's just like you would nuke the entire planet yeah. to take me out. Yeah. And yeah. that's terrifying. Yeah, yeah my and dad is that I don't guy. want any. <laughs> I swear yeah. to God, yeah. 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 yeah, he's like, like he, he, so dude, we had a neighbor for a short while, right? Like the two houses on either side of my dad's house, no one ever lived in. So we would just like go in there. Well, actually one guy lived in one of them for a couple years and then he went to Florida, he got shot, no one came for his house. So we just go in there and get drunk. Like that was like our hangout. It was just like this shot guy's fucking shitty house. Yeah. And Man, then- himself i'm sorry to yeah, he off. did yeah he got shot in florida and then no one D- came to the house dead? he's dead <laughs> he got shot and killed he got killed nobody claimed no ownership of his house so, so it's uh, yes what's he paying in swedish fish doesn't the government go like hey well, this is ours it's now. a piece of shit oh okay nobody cares no yeah. one wants it it's a cabin yeah. it's like on a hill yeah if you could call it that it's truly like uh, a kitchen with a bed in it on a hill oh my god yeah it's, it's like pretty... Dahmer type shit this is a fucking camp out yeah it is, it, it is yeah you could Dude, d- set it there and it would yeah. be appropriate yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I mean, yeah that's the that is it's creepy that there are places like that that exist almost everywhere dude, dude. dude yeah, no, dude all of north philly <laughs> is like that yeah. i remember i remember you get like, 30 minutes outside of philly you're in like yeah. a fucking another oh, world dude yeah. when i was when i was at, even even like downtown ish like fucking brewery town when i was i was like thinking i when i had like a real job i was thinking about buying a house and i remember looking up like who owns that and they'd be like we don't know <laughs> <laughs> like this someone left this <laughs> And <clears throat> they've died, and who knows what's happened to the title for right. like the deed. It's just like they it's, can't trace it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. That was I remember that was like a big problem with like revitalizing North Philly. It's like we don't know who owns any of this stuff. Yeah. No one's given a fuck about any of these properties yeah. for forty years. Right. Yeah. So that was two houses, and then the third house there was a guy who lived there, and he kept like leaving his truck in the driveway, like an asshole. Like this was a huge problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That was the. My dad thought it was to block it, but I think he might have just had a truck and a driveway. But we shared a fucking driveway with this guy. So they went to court for several years over whose driveway was it really? You know. (laughs) And uh, 
It was truly like it would get violent. Like they started videotaping each other, just like in the driveway. Like and but you like, could park right like next to the driveway, right? There's no there's no one around. You could, dude, there's a fork. You could go around. You could, I was like, why don't we just go around? And he's like, because it's fucking that's yeah. the straightaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my driveway it's the principle. Yeah. So he, it yeah, is exactly. Principle. On now principle. It's principle. Yeah. And so I remember him just being like, man, it's taking everything inside me now to just punch him in the throat and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh my god! Yeah, dude. I'm like six, you know. Yeah. So yeah, and I remember, yeah, he would teach me how to fight, but also like I had no desire to do yeah. it. But he'd be like, "What you got to do? You find the biggest guy in the room. You go up to him. You punch him straight in the nose. Step to the side and just keep wailing on that same spot until <laughs> someone pulls you off him." And I'm like, "All right, <laughs> what if he it. fights back? Or what yeah. if he?" What if no one pulls me off him? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. then you kill him. Yeah, yeah. Then he's dead and, and you won, though. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that got weird. But, no, it uh, didn't. I'm so hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold up. No, yeah. He's, what, what, was the, what was the motivation to do this? What do you mean? Uh, to to tell me that? Or yeah, to, yeah. So I could fend like, for myself in case right. anyone tried to park in my it's, driveway. It's, <laughs> <laughs> It's the equivalent, I imagine, of like, you know, a tougher gentleman from the older generation hoping his kid's not a pussy, but he doesn't have the wherewithal to emotionally be vulnerable enough to, to talk to him like a man, right? Yeah, so it's I would like, say that's correct. It's like over the top bullshit. It's like birds and the bees. Like, yes. Yeah, it's like a dad that was like a fucking, a womanizer trying to tell a son who's growing up a lot more normal than he did. And he's like, look, we had to. She's yeah, go right up to this chick. Tell her you want to eat her ass. <laughs> He's like learning what how to get fuck? laid from Clint yeah, Eastwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if I just said hi She's first? Yeah. yeah. What right. if I didn't want to throat chop the dude? You right. Know? It's like, <laughs> nah, talk nah, to nah. Me you're like gonna a look like a bitch. bitch. You kill her spouse and yeah. you look at her and you say, yeah. "You're it's mine me now." now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about fishing for bullfrogs? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know they love the color red? Hey, don't. Oh, you know who else loves the color red? This guy. You hit me up when it's that time of the. It is a romantic idea, though. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah, if you yeah. do it right, it's very yeah. you know, like Wild West kind of stuff. Yeah, no, you that's know? what everyone loves out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Wayne, Just that fucking... whole shit. That's why they live in the woods. It's like yeah. I'm the fucking king of my domain. Yeah. Like I make the rules. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I hate to be this dude right now, but there's a lot of betas in fucking Queens. The white betas in Queens yeah. is it's wild. The white beta sounds like a killer street gang, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Like you know the the slow. Uh, the slow shift into gentrifying this area with white guys, but it's like white Brooklyn people from like the Midwest where they're like, you know, they're wearing the same glasses as their girlfriend. They have the same weird bangs. Yeah. They, they all have masks on. And it's like, they walk in here. I bet I have this fantasy. Like if like if something popped off, you could slightly threaten this guy without actually harming him. With Just a make look. Him sh yeah, make him shake, and then let her know silently what you would, what you could do to her sexually and change her whole life. Yeah, but you would think that that's true, right? But then there's someone saying that about you with a handlebar mustache. Yeah. in another true. place, I'm you know, it's relative to every. Yeah. you know what I mean. Well, yeah. those guys, I, I, I was... can't build a foundation in the mm. middle of fucking Rhode Island. Mm. My problem with those guys yeah. is they're always talking about how violent the neighborhood is. And it's like, yeah, yeah, but, what oh, were you, yeah. but what were you wearing? Yeah. <laughs> dude, you know, it's like a girl being sexually oh, assaulted. It's like, dude, there is I a walk lot. around, I don't have any problems, and I promise you, I'm a pussy. Uh, yeah. so, I will say, so I don't know what you're doing. It's there's true. a lot of that, yeah. like people who are from New York being like, like acting like they're from the fucking block, but then like I'll talk to someone and they'll be like, yeah, my grandma lives in that neighborhood. That's not a tough neighborhood no, at, yeah, all. Not yeah, at all. Like It's like you're just able to fucking do that. You know no, I mean? but I got glasses recently. <laughs> I got glasses. Oh, okay. Chris, you know what glasses are. I got these ones. <laughs> and uh, I just want to give you an idea of what I was looking like. Oh, okay. kind of looks like that. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I went to the bodega that I always go to, right, to just get vapes and Gatorade and shit. And I'm standing in there. And for the first time ever, I was the first time I was wearing these glasses, two kids just cut me. <laughs> like straight up walked in front of me and just I was like about to order and they just stepped in front of me and ordered and then looked at me and I was just like well this is never happened I'm never wearing these fucking glasses again yeah <laughs> clearly I'm putting up a flag that I can be taken they're yeah. like oh the kid from the Christmas story all grown up <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. dude go the opposite direction just yeah. get like fake blood and the fucking blood up <laughs> yeah. just put some weird blood like, like in a splatter on your face uh, well that would be sick if you could just get a face wrap that was tear drap yeah. tattoos and shit <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Get one of those just, just put so a fake broken nose thing on and like blood running down your neck break somebody else in line 
And then yeah. just turn around and go, I'm oh, sorry, were you waiting? And they'll be like, you can go. <laughs> you can absolutely go Thin ahead. gloves that have bloody knuckles <laughs> and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you wait. Can I get you some Skittles? <laughs> yeah. uh, this one's on me. Wait, the, I do think God will do that. Guys will do the same thing with the, we're talking about with like bruisers or whatever with their kids. They'll do that with athletes too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like someone will be a good college athlete and then they'll marry the smallest woman yes. ever to live. Yeah. Yes. Because they truly feel very small. Inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then they have kids that are medium sized and they're like, why don't you play football? And it's yeah. like, because yeah. You, yeah. she's five nothing. Yeah. yeah. Because you're a child molester. <laughs> I have a theory. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, I want to hear this. <laughs> this is a real theory, and I don't know if I said it on the show. I've said it many times. Oh, my mom's hot now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all warm. <laughs> I'm all warm. I told you to come around. Yeah, yeah. The I child molester comment. I just got my stick. You were saying this shit. Tell no, me your dude, theory. If you look, and I, I just went to dinner uh, at Mars, and who cares? Um... <laughs> But oftentimes, and there, oh, there's my a, berries there's on the a, hill, man, Marks. <laughs> <clears throat> there's a t there's a there's a type, and it's usually autistic, weird shaped white guys that are either tall or super fat that are older that date these dainty Asian women. Yeah, that look like children from from all angles except the face. Yeah, That's certain certain of them. That's only ten percent, and they're so off putting <laughs> and autistic <laughs> that they have to jump to. Yeah, you know, an Asian, such a a language and a culture that is also kind of autistic. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. If you go hard Asian, dude, there's a certain level of autism that matches. I think what you're saying is America. like there's like a disconnect between. Yeah, like, there's a disconnect yeah. between all of them and us. But, <laughs> You just know they're walking that gray area of like, this is what you're into. Because that is a very small individual. Yeah. And it's very strange for someone to be that large and be like, that's my girl. That's yeah. my, yep. my beautiful baby angel. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're not talking. That's the, that's the athlete talking. <laughs> but it's like, what are you going to pick up this little fucking elf on the shelf and knock her around every night? Get out of here. Yeah, why right. not? There's something wrong with you. That sounds fun. Spinning like a top. No, you pay 150 bucks for that. You fuck off, and you do it out of state lines. You don't marry it. Put a tiny little ring around their little pinky. <laughs> anyway, how do I love this theory. Know? If you're into Asians, you're a child molester. That's not Dude, only my cousin. My cousin lived in China. I'm talking bigger white men with tiny little yes elves. My cousin lived I in agree. China for like five years, and she was telling me that there's no good Samaritan law there, which means like if someone gets hit by a car right in front of you no one helps them like you can't help that person yeah because like the pedestrian like on the floor bleeding because if you pick them up now they can be like he hurt me and now you pay for their medical bill oh my god so it's just all people just walking by someone like bleeding out on the street like not oh my like god. acting like that didn't just happen you gotta yeah. thin the herd too that's the government you gotta, going let's let's yeah i let's think there's a shuffling through had, some of these if you had two billion people that's, yeah there yeah. is some it's level like, of like yeah, come on. But you man. would think One that, but then, clipped. but yeah. then New York. I feel like people here are more willing to like help each other out than they would be in uh, our hometowns or whatever. Well, dude, I mean, New York is a, is a small town compared to like any city in China. That's true. They have like forty million people. Yeah, in, hey, like, I've seen 17... a police story. Okay, <laughs> dude, <clears throat> that's why when you're at Starbucks, like, this is a little community. There's no one in line if you're at a coffee shop. An Asian will be in your back pocket because they used to being popped around. You know, they're like, they're, they're, they're stuck. Yeah, yeah. So they don't know that you can give someone space. I think space. you need to teach a course. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to go too far, but you know what I'm saying? Like culturally, true. Yeah. spatially, they're spatially, you know, um, they're less, they, they, they have less respect. I mean, if you've seen oh. Koyana Scott's. <laughs> Yeah, they're used to packing in. They're packing in like sardines. I, w I remember hearing a story that like they have like uh Do you guys learn nothing from what happened to Shane? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with saying that they're socially... You uh, pack them not, in like sardines. It's, they no, they they're do. They're doing it. Oh, yeah. they, they're, oh, they're, they're, they're doing it. They're doing it. Their oh, people. Right, I'm yeah. saying... There's so many people, so they don't... Like, they're... Like, you, they'll literally, like, put, put, put their head right <laughs> on your shoulder. <laughs> You're like, there's no one behind me. Get the fuck out of here. And they're just like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh fuck. no, I heard in uh, <laughs> I heard they like they had signs with like to like not put your cigarette by your waist if you're smoking a cigarette. Oh, because because you could just burn a kid's eye out. That's how tight. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that for real. Dude, a whole generation of one. Dave, I think David Sedaris put that in his book. 
Really? Yeah, and he's a liberal guy. Yeah. So oh, I'm just yeah, no, I'm not. No, we're just talking facts. I'm just quoting him. I'm yeah. just saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I never doubted if, a if single you thing. Go so, after someone, go after him. Yeah, this whole episode, I've been quoting my father. So, <laughs> <laughs> go yeah, yeah. Yeah. My dad, David Sedaris. Look him up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pope is my middle name. Oh, man. That's so fucking funny. But so, yeah, no, the hometown is uh, alive and well. I believe the Hell's Angels took over the bar. Hell's Angels? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't find them to be such bad guys. I don't either. I've yeah. had great relationships with pagans. Wonderful guys. Mm. Very sweet yeah. men. But I, they, they're, they, they, you know, they fucked the, their I families think, over. Yeah, yeah, there's weird, there's like weird, like ritualistic shit going on inside of all these groups. But like, uh, I don't know. I feel like ever since the beginning of like organized crime or whatever, you know, there's always been a, a thing of like putting, like making people... Like the mafia giving them a bad rap when, in fact, uh, they were doing some bad shit. Yeah, yeah. But there was a lot of really good shit that came out of that as well. Because it's really just they yeah, were trying they to beat turkeys the... out on Thanksgiving. Yeah, they were. Trying... <laughs> but dude, sorry about killing your fucking aunt. They yeah. were trying to kill the government. They were trying to. They were trying to beat the government at what the government was doing. Of course, because it's the same thing. They're killing people. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Just fucking uh, get them full of cancer with uh, whatever mm. candy that is over there, and then yeah. uh, make them pay. To no, get you it needed the, in order for in order for like unions also to get going. You needed the mob mm -hmm. yeah of course yeah it was yeah. the only way yeah it's I, weird to see the tech age hit these shitty towns now you know what i mean because yeah. like it's like you're the tiktoks of my hometown i'm sure are insane i've never yeah. looked at them oh but dude they're, i can't they're probably imagine the best i mean that's who i would i don't go on that tiktok ever but like yeah. that's who i would follow but small town mongrels it's yeah just, yeah it truly just feels like traveling back in time to your point of like like it's still got the penny candy stores and like yeah, all the shit it's awesome. like holding on to like you know <clears throat> it's almost a bed and breakfast ski ball state. there's a lot of ski ball going on i don't got no ski ball in my own <laughs> what but. Fucking no. high end, dude. Really? Ski well, ski ball? Uh, like an arcade or something? Yeah, yeah. These guys no. are fishing no, like for bullfrogs with red rags. What? You think they got a ski ball? There's no arcade. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, no. They're, they're like, I don't know. In the shitty like New Hampshire towns that I would go to, you, they had all those sick games where you like you put a quarter. It's like a baseball field. You put a quarter in and yeah, like launches. You could like yeah, hit like, yeah. a, like yeah, yeah. a double or a triple or mm -hmm. a home run. Yeah. If you launched it, I right? like that hoop fever game. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's a good game. We're not talking about games we like. I fucking love that. We started up, off with pool. Open up what? an arcade, dude. Oh, How man, you'd be a great arcade owner. Right? You're a pedophile. Just a pe <laughs> <laughs> Here's my Asian wife. You just would a giant, be a good. Yes. Uh, just all the quarters, oh, yeah, just no, flopping you... out quarters for all the kids. Yeah. Making fun of all the dads, hitting on the moms. Dude, yeah. You should start an yeah. arcade. I put one ski ball behind a curtain when I meet the right one. You know? <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm hooking up with one of my arms behind a curtain. Oh, I pictured like a lady at the top of the ski ball ramp with her asshole out, and you gotta like, you know, Ooh, that's, like that's that. the goal. Yeah, you know? I like that. Yeah, like spitting ping pong balls into a pussy on Howard Stern. If Dave, we were doing that, I huh? think so. No, it was out of the pussy. He wasn't in. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to have a lot of velocity. Well, I got a hose, dude. <laughs> I can crow hop a ping pong Ooh. ball. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you hit her on the nose again, dude. I do like the wind up for that is yeah. like <laughs> cricket or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Three worlds. Yeah. <laughs> dude. Fuck. Oh, well, man. when are you going back next? I'd like to go with you. Um, hmm. I don't know. Probably Thanksgiving. Let's set up a fucking trip. Oh, that would be so fun. We yeah. could actually go and do some Let's fishing, fishing or some shit. Yeah, yeah, but the fall foliage is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we talked foliage. about doing that. Yeah. We talked about taking a ride, doing the, uh, what do they call them? In peepers. Leaf peepers. Leaf peeping. Oh, yeah. Leaf peeping. Mm -hmm. You go up to Connecticut, uh, all that dog shit highway in Connecticut. Yeah. And then once you break there in the Boston, it's nice. Yeah, the leaf peepers out there. Yeah. That's a weird... You think when they see like really fucking... <laughs> good leaves they like they fuck get each other yeah. really hard dude you ever go through central park <laughs> yes. watching the bird watchers they're these guys are nuts yeah they're getting horny for it yeah just some old lesbian with a fucking binocular you could see her disposition change when she sees like a i don't know a fern a fern yeah Wait, something dude, from afar that's not a bird dude renting a place on a lake up there is like more expensive during peeping season than when it's summer warm. yeah wow yeah it's crazy because the peep season is very short <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, don't peep, be sorry, dude. Peeping season. If you didn't laugh, I'd be like, on, this bro. kid's a fucking weirdo. Dude, peep season, it's like, it's hey, a real Hey, when you're me, every season's peep season. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Well, that's how they make their whole annual income, you know? 
Oh, true you that. You gotta give yeah. it to the fucking Dude, the fucking Salem, Massachusetts still makes a hundred million a year from the witch trials. Like people what? just going there. Yeah, tourists just going there. Being yeah, like, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's I yeah. mean, that's awesome. It is great. It's yeah, great, it's, but it's just, uh, it's cartoon world. Yeah. You know, like, what are we doing? Yeah, my hometown had a version of that, uh, which we tried to capitalize on and failed, where yeah. uh, our, our mascot <laughs> is an elephant. And that's because um, when uh, there was a circus going through town in like 1890, this is the second elephant ever to be on the continental US. And it was owned by Barnum and Bailey technically, but they were like leasing it to some other fucking people. Yeah. <laughs> they and, got lost and, and wound up in Foster Gloucester. Foster Gloucester. Some guy came out of a stagecoach, fucking shot it and killed it. And then they made the town mascot an elephant as like a like that's like our local Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Wait, someone from the circus shot it? No, some guy local? came out of yeah, a local was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> fucking shot it oh and killed it. Oh my god. Yeah. So now there's elephant day in my hometown where we're supposed to repent. If you look it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. And then, the, oh, yeah. wait a second. And now it's the mascot, but it's like Do that. You have like a parade knows. and everybody wears like elephant hats and there's, ears There's, and there's shit. a big elephant statue in the middle of the town. There's like, uh, there's no elephant parade, but like we do have an, an Ancients and Horribles parade every 4th of July. And there there will be some <laughs> elephant homage. Yeah. In there. Dude, that yeah. fucking rules, man. But yeah, that actually was the uh, reason why elephants, uh, or not elephants, but uh, circuses started to unionize because they kept, people kept killing their fucking animals and they're like all right cool we gotta like come together and like make this official so that we're not just losing elephants yeah you know? <laughs> <laughs> that bankrupt foster gloucester trying to pay back the the elephant cost i don't know if anyone paid for anything i don't know what the hell but it, they just they were like good something to identify ourselves There's a as beauty forever in living in this lifestyle that you're taught you're speaking of coming from like small town maniacs yeah if you can find a balance of like being slightly normal and like this is what built your personality and such yeah i've always said this about <clears throat> like upbringings in like boston philly uh new york it's like if, if you're exposed to lots of elements of like you know crazy shit violence alcoholism and all that stuff you build a personality that's like very interesting i would agree i also you that small town like life i've only seen on like in movies and they perfect it right so you you're, you're i think they sensationalize that's what i mean it. yeah sensationalize it yeah perfect it in like its best case scenario correct in terms yeah, of sens yeah. Sensationalize yeah. It. so like when i hear like and meet someone like yourself i'm like that is what a fun way to be raised and then fuck off and then come back and be like, this is, it's Insane. a womb of insanity that's controlled. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, like, if you think insanity. about it, it's like you got to have a lot of sympathy for the guy that shot that elephant. <laughs> yeah. You guys go, dude, like, <laughs> what? I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? How do you go? Did you imagine? He yeah. goes back to the stagecoach and everyone's just like, yeah. This motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. I mean, how could you honestly be mad at him? It's like, you killed the elephant. It's like, I killed a what? I saved the town. Yeah. <laughs> like, this dude was what was I supposed to do? Dude, this guy, and to your point, there are plenty of people that do live normal lives there, you yeah, know, but there's no like real, because suburbs, everyone has to keep up with each other because you can see everybody, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in the woods, so you could live in a NASCAR, you can live in yeah. a fucking yeah. uh, bus, you can live, you know. Yeah, this dude was probably sipping moonshine, building a seventh crib, going like, and then he walked out all fucked up and he sees this beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he's yeah. like, he's going to kill my kids. Like, and I need shoot them this to help elf. me finish building my porch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that dude, he kills the elephant and builds a giant eighth crib. <laughs> I'm going to work on this fucking elephant casket. But yeah, I never thought about being that guy who shot that elephant. Oh my God. And walking around town and everyone fucking hates you, I would imagine. <laughs> no, I, th I you think, think everyone hero? in town had to understand. Yeah. Because... You there? You're, there's no way to prepare yourself for that. Yeah, that's fun. I Dude, do like you that. probably didn't even know what an elephant was. Right. There's got to be some. Then of one that. is, and it's probably like it's going nuts. It's doing elephant shit. I mean, yeah. the fact that the bullet so killed like it was probably a miracle shot. Right. Right. He was probably. Well, he shot it a few times, and then it walked like half a mile and fell off a bridge. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> See, if this elephant just walked up with a pool stick in its hand, they probably, probably would have been living there still. <laughs> it fell off a bridge. Uh, Ryan, do you shave your nuts? 
Uh, they just build well, a dam I, I, around I'll it. Buzz. I don't. I don't do. A, I will not put a blade on my scrotum. Same. Yeah, I can't. But I do have. I will buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about three blades in a nice? Enough, no, fuck no. that. It's just not the it. risk to reward ratio is not. Really? I, yeah, I don't need them. I don't need them so buttery smooth. I really <laughs> don't. Who is this for, dude? Dude, thank you. Yeah. I just had a conversation this list. It's like, I'm not going to be mad at a woman who has like a little bit of hair going on. It's like, if you can't take me with a little bit, then fuck off. I actually judge an older woman that's bare. I'm like, that's a, that bitch is nuts. Yeah. It's a little weird. It's weird. If you're like mid thirties and you have a bare vagina, you're either out and about. Let it go. Let it go, dude. What are you doing? Have a natural little, a little putting green. A little putting green. Somewhere I can chip around. (laughs) Yes, Let him chip around on your little putting green. <laughs> this is how I talk to my kid right now. Have you been chipping around on anybody's putting green? <laughs> if so, she's got a boyfriend. Throat chop that motherfucker. Listen, bitch. boys, eventually you're going to want to get beyond <laughs> mini golf and just shoot 18 holes. Yeah. I'm here to tell you. <laughs> but it's true. I feel like. Links course. Wait, so you yeah. do shave your balls with a blade? Yeah. That's I insane. Mean, yeah, I, it's mostly just about to delay the amount of time that I have to do it again. So you do come back to a nice surface, a yeah, nice yeah, normal surface yeah, yeah, for your age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, I don't. I mean, look, I'm you know, you like a clean I'm not ball. complaining about it. Yeah, I well, like this a girl clean was ball. saying like she's like I I I'm moving into a landing strip as opposed to uh, just natural in its in its you know arrowhead shape. Yeah, you got to mow the lawn. You got to yeah. mow the lawn, but like then you're starting to shape. You start getting into like mid twenties shapes when you're not mid twenties. That's just as crazy as. As a bald floor. You're talking about a strip? Yeah, just a strip. I don't mind a strip. A little strip. A little strip. A little little hair is better than anything. You want to get a little dancey about it, that's fine. But like, you can't just go full, full. You can do whatever you want. Why not? I like the way you get a good look at it. (laughs) Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, right? Look, Stuff Island, October October 5th, we're going to be at Helium Comedy Club in Philadelphia. Uh, Eight o'clock. There's like, I don't know. There's a few tickets left, actually. So, um... Uh, I'm just gonna. What? Yeah, what? Do you want to plug anything? After Let you. Let me get this over. Yeah. Uh, get 20% off and free shipping with Stoke Cuff Island at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code Stuff Island. One word Stuff Island at manscaped.com. I'm not going to read what they just said. Uh, Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has got it all. The lawnmower 4.0 body trimmer. It's wonderful. The weed whacker nose and ear trimmer for Thank future. God. I don't know anyone that has ear hair yet. Yeah. I got nose hair though. I got nose hair, that, dude. I cut my like my hair and my nails. I had a gray nose hair that was like fucking. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh boo! Yeah. Look at me, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You think I got any fucking sympathy? <laughs> anyway, Ryan, you got anything? Uh, Ryan Donahue, do you have anything to, to plug, bud? Uh, when does this come out? Uh, Wednesday, Wednesday. October fifth. Oh wow, that's yeah. soon. Yeah. Uh, I suppose the closest thing that's worth plugging would be. Uh, well, I'm in Key West. If you're a Key West person, Ooh, yeah, uh, Key I'm West. At, everywhere, dude. I'm at Comedy we got Key Swedes, West. Germs. We got them all. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, the weekend of the 12th of October, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, and then I am at the DC Improv the weekend of the 23rd. Uh, the I'll be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then I am uh, doing a hour as part of the New York Comedy Festival on November 7th, Monday at Caveat in New York City. So come to that. I'll be there. Yeah, go to that. That'd be fucking killer. I will. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's put one on. October 7th? Uh, November 7th. November 7th. Yeah. Sick. Nice. You sticking off with the page? Say what? The Patreon. Yeah, we do another hour on the Patreon. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. All right. See ya. Oh, I'm October 7th and 8th. I'm in Indianapolis with Sean Gardini. It'll be fun. Come oh, I like that guy. Yeah, yeah. Gardini's yeah. a man. Card dog rules. All right. <laughs>